is up, YouTube? Steeler Sideline. We're back with another Mail Day Monday pickup. This is an eBay pickup. Uh, I bought this online through eBay. It came up. Shout out to uh, Eric for this one. He let me know about it being on there. Uh, he knew I was looking for this uh, photo autographed. It already came framed. Uh, so it was a, a nice thing. You know, a nice setup already. Uh, so I, I went ahead, I bid on it, it was on an auction, and I got it for, I think it was $75, nobody bid on it, but it had $100 shipping, so I think that's why a lot of people didn't bid on it. Uh, but in the description, it said, if shipping is less, I will refund you the difference, basically. Um, and I looked, it was only coming from Ohio, so I'm like, there's no way this photo is going to cost $100 to ship from Ohio to Pennsylvania. So I just rolled the dice on it. If it came in in pristine condition and it was shipped timely, I would have never said anything and just because I, I, I would have paid that for the picture regardless. So anyway, uh, we get the photo. Uh, well, I purchased the photo. I win the auction. I pay right away. Uh... Like I said, $100 shipping. Uh, it takes them a long time to ship. I don't know how long it took to ship, but it was definitely over a week, probably closer to 10 days to two weeks uh, just to ship the item. So when I'm paying $100 in shipping, you know, I expect it to be shipped pretty quick <laughs> and and very nicely. Uh, so... So already we're off to a bad start because I'm like, is this guy even going to ship it or not? Uh, I talked to a couple people. They're like, hey, you know, they knew the guy. He's pretty legit. Uh, so, he's, you know, he is, he is going to ship it. And it did get shipped. Uh, so I did know two people that, that knew the seller. Uh, so it got shipped and it gets shipped UPS. It arrives. And as I get it off the porch, I could just tell like, oh, no. You know, I can hear the inside. It just doesn't sound right. Uh, so I'll show pictures. I still got the pictures on my phone. Uh, so it arrives broken. Uh, glass is shattered uh, during the uh, UPS shipment. So I contact the guy and say, hey, I know uh, you had on there about the shipping, you know, being less. I haven't got, I, I waited for, I waited for him to even like send me a, uh, a refund on the shipping after he shipped it he never shipped he never sent a refund uh you know it took a couple days to come never got a refund so then when i arrived broke and i was like hey i'm supposed to get a refund for shipping uh i never got that but we have bigger problems this arrived broken uh he was very nice about it you know apologized it wasn't his fault i mean i know he didn't throw it in there broken it was wrapped pretty good i will give him that it wasn't like I've had things get shipped that were broken that were just like thrown in a box and no bubble wrap and or just had one thin layer of bubble wrap and you knew it was going to bust. Uh, but his was actually wrapped pretty good. It was just, uh, you know, that time of the season with a lot of packages, it probably just got thrown around a little more than what it should. And, you know, this the way this frame is, it's a thin frame. It's going to, it hits, it, it doesn't take much for that glass to break when it hits on a hard surface. So, uh, so anyway, uh, let them know that the glass was broken. Um, and I'm showing you, I'm telling you all this, and I'm going to show you. That. It's this uh, Stiller's Dynasty photo. And I basically wanted it because of uh, Raymond's photo. But anyway, I'm trying not to break this again. Uh, I let him know about it. And, uh, you know, he said, well, let me file, a, a, you know, send me as many pictures as you can. Let me file a complaint, you know, a, well, a, let me file an insurance claim. He had insurance on it with uh, UPS. I'm like, all right, that's fine. I sent him as many pictures as possible. Uh, and then he said, let me file the claim. And I've dealt with, I've never dealt with a UPS claim, but USPS, I've dealt with a claim. They take a decent amount of time. Uh but my whole thing was, you know, like you, you didn't pay $100 to ship it and you still haven't refunded like you said you were going to do. So that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, but he uh, sent in for the thing 
And then like, you know, he let me know when he sent in, but then it kind of just like went stagnant. And I was like, hey, any updates? And then he would give me an update. Hey, any updates? And he'd give me an update. And then like the third time, I'm like, hey, you know, it's been like close to two months now. Any updates? Like, uh, you still haven't even given me a refund for that. Like I paid $100 shipping and it didn't cost $100 to ship it. And it arrived broken. It took forever to come and then it arrived broken. So like we had, you know, there was two issues there with the shipping. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, I'll show pictures, uh, if I haven't already, uh, of it arriving broken. Um, and he said, you know, well, once he kind of led it to believe once UPS, uh, gave him the insurance claim back, he would refund me pretty much the full price. So I'm like, well, well that's awesome, you know, but like. I realized after like so long, I feel like he was just trying to like let it go as much as possible and hopefully he wouldn't hear from me again. It's what I was kind of getting out of it. So I had to stay, I had to stay persistent. If I was the seller, I'd have probably did a better job of trying to give that person uh, some updates, you know, here, here's the update, here's the update. And then he told me like, he did give me one update when I asked about it and he said like, they were, they ruled in his favor. They were issuing him his money, but he hasn't got the money yet. So at that point, like if I'm the seller, I'm probably just gonna refund because I know the money's coming to me. I'm just gonna refund. But he left me hanging for another like week and a half, at least seven days, maybe 10 days, somewhere around there, week to a week and a half. Uh, and I had to ask again, like, hey, you said they, you know, and then he finally gave me a $100 refund, which was the, uh, end up coming up to like a hundred and six dollar refund uh and i had to get their glass replaced myself um so uh so you ship the so i got this for 75 bucks just to put it that way after a lot of hassle and a lot of things so 75 dollars i got that um went and got their glass replaced it had a pretty good glass in it to begin with, uh, but I, you know, I got the uh, the good glass, the UV protected glass, um, and uh, had to get that replaced. So I got it replaced. I came up, I hung it right here. Actually, this is where I exactly hung it. Uh, but the clips I have weren't like too big. They were too small for this thing, so it was kind of like just hanging on there. But it was hanging pretty. It was pretty tight uh and this is like i'm always walking in this area filming the videos and doing things in this area so i shouldn't have put it there so anyway after i get my refund and i get the glass broke uh replaced once i uh i'm hitting so i'm doing something over here hanging up another picture oh i'm doing one of these next to it hanging up a picture and <laughs> this damn the damn thing falls so it falls, hits on the corner, glass breaks again. So I have the same type of glass break. Same same thing, broke down the center. Luckily, this thing, the, the print never got messed up. I don't know how, but the print never got messed up by the broken glass. It kind of just shattered and stayed in the glass. And it shattered in like a three to four big pieces. So I could just pull them out and it didn't cut the, the photo. So I was lucky, real lucky with that. But uh, but anyway, I, in the end, I got this for seventy five dollars. But I had to replace the and I got you know I got that hundred dollar refund, hundred six dollar refund. But I had to replace the glass twice, so I end up paying more than a hundred six dollars <laughs> for the UV glass twice. Uh, so I didn't save any money on it. So it was about what I you know it's about. You know, $175 to $200 I ended up paying for this frame. But that's still a great deal with it being double matted, framed, and then whatever. But that's my story with this. This is a crazy, crazy story. Uh, like I said, um, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I did get my refund. Safe to say I probably won't buy from that guy again. I just, you know, I just had a bad experience. And I didn't like the way it was handled. Uh, and... and I felt like it could have been handled better in the, you know, with the hundred dollar shipping. I know you try to cover in case that bidding didn't go the way you thought it was, 
I think he tried to view that to cover it. But honestly, if I would have got the picture and it would have been imperfect, if he would have shipped it out the day I bought it, like the, or the first three days I bought it after I bought it, and I would have got the picture and there was nothing wrong with it, he would have never heard from me. I'd have left him good feedback and he would have never heard from me again about that. Uh, I wouldn't have tried to get the refund because I feel like 175 was a, a fair price that I got it for, a great price. So he would have never heard from me if the glass, you know, if it would have been shipped on time and glass wasn't broken. But like I said, I, you know, when I'm paying $100 for shipment, like you can't wait almost two weeks to ship something out. That's, to me, that's unacceptable. unacceptable. You know, it's coming from Ohio and it took, you know, over two weeks to get to me. That's unacceptable to me. At least in my standards, I, I try to ship people's out, especially when they're paying $100. That, I, it's either going that day or the next day. But that's my story with this one. I told you I had some crazy stories. I'll show you some pictures of what it was like. But we'll go through this again. We got, you know, all the uh, Steelers dynasty on here. Heck, now, uh, with Andy Russell passing away, uh, as you well know, so that's why I picked to do this one today with that, him being on here and that. Uh, he is on here as well. So you, you got Andy Russell, who's no longer with us. You got Ray Mansfield, no longer with us. You got Elsie Greenwood, uh, who's no longer with us. And you got Dwight White, who's no longer with us. So there's about as many people living, you know, on here as passed away. So it's uh, a pretty rare piece now. Like I said, there's not too many Mansfield stuff out there. I showed you what I got off him before. Uh, I'll drop that down so you can see it a little bit better. So let me know what you guys think of this pickup. Let me know what you think of that story. Am I am I a little crazy for that? Uh, do I sound, you know, I, I don't think I was, I think I was pretty reasonable with that. But like I said, he would have never heard from me if I would have got it in a timely fashion and it wasn't broken. Uh, but like I said, it was packed very well. It's just UPS. I worked for them for a short stint uh, while I was in college. And man, I seen how they treat the packages. So uh, it being thrown around like that, like anything that's glass that goes through UPS, um, it's amazed that it doesn't come broken anyway. Uh, and there's another story for something else that, I, that if I if I do do the story on, I already switched out the frame and everything, so I might not do that. But I had a similar story with another item I got, but I'll probably do a video on that and uh, just show you the photo that I replaced it with. But that's all I got for you today. This uh, Steelers Dynasty print, uh, luckily not green, in great condition. I already have it hung up. I took it off the wall just to do this video. Because I was going to do this video and just show it on the wall and then talk about it. But I figured, hey, I'll just take it off the wall. Hopefully, I won't break it again for a third time. Uh, but that's all I got for you today, YouTube. Let me know what you think of the story. Let me know what your favorite part is. Uh, and let me know what you think of the pickup. As always, have a great one. Still a nation.